America, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you my December TBR. Now I don't know how much reading I'll get done in December since it's the final month of the year and especially with Christmas and the holidays things could get pretty busy. But these are the books that I hope to read this month. The first book that I want to read is Defiance by C.J. Redwine. This is the first book in a YA fantasy trilogy. I talked about this book in my October TBR. This book follows a girl named Rachel Adams, who lives in a place called Belle Bowden, while other girls are learning to sew dresses and obey their male protectors. Rachel is in the wilderness, learning to wield a sword. When her father, Jared, fails to her return from a courier mission, the city's commander assigns Rachel a new protector. This protector happens to be her father's apprentice named Logan. Logan is also the boy that Rachel declared her love to two years ago. He handed hid Rachel her heart right back. Rachel believes that her father is still alive. She decides to find him herself, but the wasteland could destroy her. Logan is an orphan and an inventor, but he's also an outcast, and he wants to escape the tyranny of Belboden. When Rachel goes off to find her father, Logan didn't think he would be responsible for his mentor's impulsive daughter. When Rachel and Logan are in the wasteland together, he is determined to protect her. And through their journey, they find romance and heartbreak, as well as devastation. This definitely sounds like an intriguing fantasy, but I think it might have some dystopian elements to it as well. I'm really looking forward to getting to it this month. If I like the first book, I obviously want to read Deception by C.J. Redwine. This is the second book in the trilogy. Next, I would obviously want to read Deliverance. This is the third and final book in the trilogy. I also want to finish the Element series by Bridget Kremmermer, since I only had a chance to read the first book last month. I want to read the second book, called Spark. This book follows Gabriel. He's the brother her who's an arrogant bad boy. The next book in the series is called Spirit, and this book follows Hunter Garrity. And Hunter was the, the character that Becca who was in a relationship with in the first book in the series. Next up, I want to read Secret. This is the fourth book in the series. This book follows Nick's story. The next book I want to read is Sacrifice. This is the fifth and final book in the Elemental series. And this book follows Michael. This is a YA paranormal fantasy series. And I really enjoyed the first book, so I'm looking forward to reading the rest of them. There's also a few novellas within this series, and I don't normally read novellas, but I might check them out as well. I'm not really sure what else I'll read in December, but if I have time, I might want to check out Graceling by Kristen Kishore. This is the first book in a YA fantasy trilogy. Graceling follows a main character who's a girl, and she has the ability to kill people. I believe she's the only one in her kingdom who has this ability, and because she has this ability, she becomes the king's thug. Also, the main character never her expected to fall for a prince named Poe. I think that his first book is about the main character's relationship with this prince, but also the fact that she's trying to stop the war in all the kingdoms in this first book. This sounds like a fascinating trilogy, and I don't know the specifics about it, but I've heard that this is a great trilogy, and it was popular on booktube a few years ago, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. The second book in this trilogy is called Fire, and the third book in this trilogy is called Bitter Blue. If I have time in the month after all that, the next series I want to move on to is Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. This is the first book in the Falling Kingdom series. This is also a YA fantasy series. I don't know much about this book other than it's about a few kingdoms. You get about six different characters' perspectives in this series. I've heard that this book is a YA version of Game of Thrones. Since I've heard Game of Thrones is intriguing, I should like this book and all the political destruction and warfare that goes on. Hopefully I like this series. The Fallen Kingdom series is really popular, and a lot of people love Morgan Rhodes, so hopefully I enjoy this series as well. Those are all the books that I hope to read in December. Comment down below and tell me what you want to read in December. 
If you want to see more videos from me, I'll put some videos up on the screen in case you guys want to check those out. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in my next one.